trying to line up everything here. We're driving away from a big bus to southwest. It's already hit the south coast. We're shooting up, um, going to Port Durnford. We're hitting Tzatzini toll gate now. And uh, we want to try and obviously try and get a few casts in, a few baits in, just before that southwest of the northeast has been pumping for two days strong. It's Saturday now. And uh, we're hoping to, to get some nice, nice pulls and some big fish before that wester hits us. So it's quite exciting. Uh, we've got Rock in front of us here driving uh, ahead of us. Uh, Daiwa Ambassador. So there's a couple of us that will meet up on the beach there and see if we can get those carts in and get some big fish on the hook before the, the, the westerly makes it nearly impossible to fish. Obviously, if you can fish, we're going to fish into that westerly and see what fish we can get. Um, obviously, looking for the, the, the summer fish, the sandies, diamonds, honeycombs. I uh, brought an octopus with in case I can quickly get that out for, a, for a, maybe a nice big duck ball. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping for a nice big honeycomb or a big sand shark today. And the diamonds are always welcome, as you know. <laughs> As you can see here behind me, the water is looking perfect. So it's now just getting a bait in the water quickly. And I'm, I'm burning to slide that chock off that old octopus. But first I want to get a, just a normal macro bait on water. Okay guys, just a typical bait we'll throw in the banks here for the non-edible species. It's a mackerel head base, which I'm going to put on a dangle. I measured already the length of my dangle. And I'm just going to trim it nice to shape it nice. Take that top piece off, those, all that well sits in here. You want that spot open. I'm going to keep the mouth to hook it on. Push it this way around. Just trim it to fit and then tie the base off. Now you saw I had uh, toothpicks in the foam of my dingle dangle and that's just to hold the bait when you clip and now we start shaping it nicely. Still frozen I like they're using frozen stuff because you can shape it better. Now we just start adding the cutlets one by one, forming that little ball bait. It will take shape as we go along. Now I want to put some red eye on today, so I'm going to use this red eye too. And just open it up. Very scarce right now. We're battling to get red eye. And therefore, even more reason to put some red eye on the bait. Nice fleshy bait. Mushy and fleshy. And that we shape like that. Yes, guys with this bait when it hits the water all this little bits of flesh are going all over the show now in this area a lot of times there's milkies there's little spinner sharks that can really give us hassles before the bigger fish comes and then we'll adapt but for now I'll rather create a frenzy and a good smell in the water and lure in the closest closest flatty in the area I'm gonna use the grind elite 15 foot I've got a full metal jacket here there are sharks in this area. I'm just hooking that up onto a tenno tuna circle. And I'm using a ringed soy tenno assist hook. Right, that was a bit of a struggle getting that through. And then the assist hook I just put at the bottom. That's a bit of security. The 
circle, ring for the sinker, and ready to go. I'm not going to open that up, the sea is not big, so I'm not going to open my grapnel up. For flat fish, actually, a lot of times you won't use the grapnel, because it will prick them. If they come over the bait and it pricks them, they swim away. That will teach you, well me, um, such an impulsive decision this morning. I haven't changed anything. This is still as I used it at Mazeppa. And there must have been still a weak spot on the braid. So I put extra pressure here on the lip. Um, which looked like a very nice flat fish. Probably a diamond. And just too much pressure and there was a weak spot. It broke in the middle of nowhere. But it will, that's a lesson to anybody is change your tackle after a trip take the couple of meters of braid off check it for weak spots put new leaders i didn't do that Well, that's fishing fish 3 under a null that got cut off could have been anything it could have swam into a fish under that pressure my drag was tight it felt like a honeycomb went with a, a take took off with speed a couple of times and then it just nipped something it can be anything in the water and under that pressure it just cut off so it's not a good start today three hookups or three bites zero fish Obviously a honey, honeycomb or a big sand, you won't leave that alone and even your shark. So when you're fishing up north here in Tanzini area, the banks or here at Pond Dernford, uh, ideally you want to come here just before low tide so you can get onto these back banks and fish the deeper water and with that pushing tide the fish comes in we were fishing over the low now and I think I made the right, right call to start off with with uh, the mackerel red eye bite baits which got the bites three bites um, two hookups and both both of them parted and now I switch to all octopus which is probably not the right move I would have got more bites on, on just the throw baits, but this particular particular octopus I wanted to come slide here for a big duck bull, looking for a duck bull. A sandy won't leave it, a honeycomb won't leave it, and uh, who knows, with a cop still being in the area, a cop will pick that whole octopus up. So I'm putting it out. Uh, the other guys are still fishing mackerel baits and they're not getting bites. Um, maybe they should put a bit of red eye, maybe that was uh, the, the answer for, for the bites. 
or maybe they just went off the bike on the turn of the tide which just happened so we'll see now I slid this out but when you come here it's the best time to start on the low tide and fish with the push come here two hours before the low so you can find a nice spot and still start fishing an hour before the low or even two hours before the low get some baits out there's still fish in the area from the high and uh, you can get your bite straight away and then fish fish the whole push but uh, these areas work particularly well three days northeast just before a west um, we're fishing it now two days east northeast just before the west is coming it's on its way and uh, we got the bites as we got here well i got some bites now they also had uh, one or two bites that side so yeah i see the tide's already pushing so i'm hoping this octopus will go away so at least we've got uh, one fish out can't go home 3-0 that will be ridiculous right we're here at uh, port durnford just before dead man's corner we got the west lingering in the background there um tide's pushing it's been a very slow day but uh we're hoping with that happening the bite is going to go on doing the job. Nice to get a fish after a long day's fishing on the new uh, Dawa Saltus Grande Elite. 15 foot. Getting the job done. Finally get a bite. Diamond after long hard days fishing, it's better than a blob. Westa, we can actually see it down there. It looks like a bit of rain coming. And the diamonds have just come on here. Nice getting two diamonds. A couple of them and then the earlier ones we hooked. 
Um, I'm putting it out to the octopus. I'm looking for a muscle man. Something strong, maybe a sandy, preferably a duck ball. And maybe small chance of one of those lost big cob in this area um, to pick that up. So I'm going to put it out, let the guys have some fun with the diamond. You can feel the northeaster slowly dropping now. It's getting a bit, uh, bit milder. And that means that is the west right there. And I hope it's not rain, otherwise we're going to be nice and wet. Nothing took that. The west is here properly now. Whoa. 